I'm Bryce Higgum. I'm Calvin McGillis. And this is our coaches caught up in Fan JV versus the Boyne City football game. This is the last JV game of the year, so this will be the last coaches cut for JV football. Alright, so first play. It's a blitz by the linebackers. The one linebacker does get picked up, but they don't pick up Henry. Then Henry comes in and smokes the running back right in the backfield, causing a pile and no gain in the play. Probably a loss of a yard, too. Yeah, and the D lineman and everyone else is coming up and help cleaning up that tackle, too. Yeah, so we'll move on to the next play now. So here's the next one. It is a uh, jet, jet left. Jet, yeah, jet left. And see a good chase down by the um, Brett, Ealing. Brett Ealing. And then you have these guys containing the outside edge and that allows Caleb Miller to come up and make a beautiful tackle on this kid. Absolutely smokes the kid. A loss of a yard, I think. Yeah. And that's just a great play. Great play by everyone, really. They all did their job. Yeah, um, I just don't think the lead block, the second lead blocker for this kid didn't see Caleb Miller until he was already there. He used the speed and his strength to his advantage in this scenario. Also, this running back, probably when he was coming around that horn, he probably seen these three guys have that outside ledge, and that makes him think, I have to cut it up, and when he cuts it up, he gets absolutely tackled by Caleb Miller. Absolutely smoked. So we'll move on to the next play now. So we're back on defense again. This is a fourth down, I believe. It's a uh, jet to the right. Jet right. And this corner. Jake and Park. Jacob Hart and Kill Miller. Miller contain the outside and makes that uh, running black or slot run parallel with the line instead of cutting up. So he's getting no yards, and they make that. I mean, they make the hit at the line of scrimmage. So yeah. no gain on anything. No gain on the play, and which it was a big play for the Ramblers because now that was their going to each fourth down. So now it's first and ten for the Ramblers at about the forty-two yard line. Yeah, so it puts them in great field position. Great job by the defense to get their offense in the field and just great all around, I guess. Yeah. So move on to the next play now. So we're back on offense. I mean, not back on offense, but we're on offense. <laughs> and ball nice. gets snapped. I saw Offensive line blocks. They have a great wall right here. Um, Logan Overman gets a good block, seals the guy off, and like normal this year, once Caleb Miller sees any kind of green, he's gone. And I think, what, that's a 70-yard touchdown, 60-yard touchdown? 60 yard touchdown yeah. He almost gets caught in the end, but he... Yeah, props to this guy, because he is pretty fast. Caleb Miller is pretty fast, and he was able to catch up with him. And, and I don't think I've ever seen anyone catch up with Caleb Miller yet this year. And he, that kid didn't give up in the play. So props to that kid. That was a great play by that kid, but also a great play by the Ramblers' whole offense. Without their offensive line and... Lou cutting got leading up to the hole. I don't know if that play would ever happen. Yeah. So we'll move on to the next play now. So we're at, back on defense. It's a jet. Bad like connection with the quarterback and uh, jet. And it becomes a fumble. And I think that's Brett Ealing with the recovery. Yeah. And that was just a great job because he was already back there and ready to chase. And Trent Brunick, who was the DM on this side, was there for contain. And he was still able to just get back there, Brett was just able to beat him to that fumble recovery. Yeah, and it's a crucial time in the game. I mean, you're down two, you need a touchdown, you want to get a touchdown, you need a score, get that confidence going. And let alone, you're on their 20-yard line yeah. starting off, which is a great field First position. and 10 from their 20? I mean, yeah. you got to be thinking you're scoring no matter what. I mean, they got a great kicker, and I mean, you got to think, yeah, we're scoring a touchdown right now. So yeah. it's just great momentum for everyone. So we'll move on to the next one. So after that fumble, I mean, two minutes run off the clock, we're in the second, and we're running the ball again. So it's, I think, first, to, oh, second, second and goal from goal. the 11. And ISO right again. Oh, ISO left. No one touches them. Linemen do their job right up the middle. Touchdown. I feel like number 12 is safety. No, not trying to be mean or anything, but he was just a little too far back in that coverage. He was already, Caleb Miller was already in the end zone before he even tried touching him. Yeah, so that's just. A good job by, again, the whole offense. whole offense. Yeah, especially by the offensive line and that lead blocker up through the hole for Caleb Miller. Yes. So we'll move on. I think that's the last one. Is that the last one? Yeah, that's the last play. So great, great 
Great game. team effort. Great team effort. Yeah, great game by McBain Rumors. They did end up losing that 20 to 16. Yeah, or they lost by four. I know that, but that was just they played a great game. Good job for the last game. A lot of these boys, I can tell you, are moving up to varsity next year because they are sophomores. And I feel like we're just going to have a young team and a good team, and we're just going to be able to learn next year. Yeah, some of these kids, I mean, they played great. A lot, all actually, all of them played great. I mean, they had some struggles. I mean, I think I believe in the second quarter they struggled with the quarterback and uh, center snapping the ball. I heard they had a lot of fumbles and a lot of mistakes right there, but they're young. Yes. Yeah. That, that's where they're supposed to learn, not on Friday nights in a big game. So yeah. it's better to learn on a game that, not to say it doesn't matter. I mean, it matters. It's fun to play and you want to win. Yeah. But it's okay to lose because you have these building blocks now. Yeah. Like, we got to work on this. we yeah, got to get better snaps. Yeah. All this stuff. Not better snaps, just a better yeah. connection between the quarterback yeah. and the snapper. Yeah, and JV's a better place to, I feel like, learn some of these things. Not to say you're right. going to get yelled not, at. Yeah, not getting yelled at, but varsity is kind of a little bit more important, especially more when the playoffs in the, in yeah. the sentence now. I, I don't know. And you're, it's a lot more tense in the faster-paced game because it's just you know the game more now and yeah. you're just going up against bigger guys and stuff. But the Ramblers had a great season this year. I believe they went 4-4. Four and four. I, Yeah. I they went 4-4 four 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 this year. So, I mean, that's great for the JV. I mean, they had a lot of close games. I think they lost – well, they lost this game by four, obviously, and they – They lost to Everett. They lost to Everett by 20, but they had – I mean, that was a hard-fought game yeah. until the fourth quarter, third quarter. So, I mean, they have a lot of things, a lot of positives going into next year. Um, I mean, a lot of these guys are going on varsity, like Shorty said, and hopefully they can learn and improve and become a better team. Yeah, just – going to be a younger team next year but once we're all seniors because I'm a sophomore too I feel like we're going to have a pretty solid team yes so I'm Calvin Gillis I'm Bryce Hickle and this was Coach's Cut boom boom